What's up, guys? It's Chuka, yeah, boy, bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be a kind of a change video. Um, also, before the video starts, I just want to say that I'm still a bit sick. So sorry if like, I sound a bit different or um, if I don't explain things very well. I'm just not very switched on at the moment. Uh, the video is going to be how to do velocity sinking. Um, if I remember, I'll put a preview at the start of the video of what, what velocity actually is in case you don't already know. But what I'm going to be doing is I'll just quickly pre-render this by highlighting it and going shift B and it pre-renders it um, so there shouldn't be any lag. I won't pre-render it all but I'll just show you kind of what the basis of the clip is. Uh, but this is the clip we're going to be adding velocity to. Uh, sorry if it's an old clip, I just found this because it's got like a, you know, like seven man or something. Oh my god. So this clip is a really good for velocity as there is, um, you know, a various amounts of points that he actually gets shots in. Um, so the first thing that you're going to want to do once your clip is in, you're going to want to right click, go properties, uh, disable resample, sorry. Uh, you can do it that way or you can just right click, switches and disable resample. Uh, and then once you've done that, Go to the point in the clip where you want it to start. So I'm just going to start it at this, um, where it's already like set to because I've already set it there. Um, so then it'll go and then it has like the shots there. Uh, we'll add a quick song in. Um, Alright, so we got our music. I just used the music from my um, most recent video because that was just the easiest one to find because I already had it open down here. Um, but basically what you're going to want to do is find the beats of your song and then you're going to want to click M on the beat so it creates a marker and you can rename it if you want, you can just rename it like beat or something but I don't tend to do that. So I'm going to go do that through all the beats right now. So if you find the beat right here as this one like right there, you click M and there's the marker. So these markers represent the beats so I'm going to go through the whole clip and I'm going to make the beats or mark them I mean and I'll be back in just a second. Alright, so I've marked out all the beats of the song. I'm going to actually quickly just add like a cheeky little fade in. Um, we'll just do a simple fade so it sounds uh, smoother. So I'll do the oh, I'll do the clip now so you can see it. Uh, yeah, I'll pre-render this so you can just see uh, the beats and stuff and like how I marked it out. So that's it there and I obviously haven't added the velocity yet so it doesn't look as good but that is what it looks before adding the velocity. Now we're going to add it. Um, so what you're going to want to do is right click on the clip, go insert remove envelope uh, velocity and what I like to do is I like to put uh, this up to 300 and then maybe like halfway to the first beat or maybe a bit before change that to 50. And then over here at the end, actually no, we'll do that later. So now it looks a bit smoother when it does it. Actually, I'll pre-render it. So now it looks a bit smoother when it goes into the clip. It like speeds up for a bit. Um, it looks smoother with like cinematics and all that. But so for the first velocity, what we're going to want to do is uh, get the first beat, double click on the beat and uh, depending on like the songs, to so say if it's a really fast paced song, you could right click and set it to 200, so that means the beat isn't as fast or as noticeable. Um, so I'll do that right now, and then you're going to want to click maybe a quarter of the way in, somewhere around there, and set that to 50, and do the same on the other side, about a quarter, a bit over a quarter of the way in, set it about 50. Um, so I'll show you what that looks like uh, when it's set to 200. Actually, I'll just render this video. See, it's got that slight speed up, but say if I put it all the way up to 300, which is as fast as it can go, um, you'll see it has more of like a swift movement when it shoots. See, it's more quick. So for this song, I reckon, or for this beat, I'm going to change it to 200 just so you can actually... Oh, shit. Just so you can actually see the scope go in and out, um, and you can actually see the edit. It looks much cleaner in my opinion. Uh, so then to the next beat, it is it is um, basically the same as the first one, so we'll set that one to 200 as well. And then about quarter way in, right double quick, set that to 50, 
uh, double click again set that to 50 and you're basically going to want to do that through all the way through um, so I'll do it just quickly um, and then we'll see what it looks like and we'll sync it later so now this is just going to be the velocity and I'll show you how to sync once we've done all the velocity um, so this is what it looks like so far see it's pretty good uh, so far it's already synced the first two clips and with velocity as well you don't have to actually have the shot on point like as you can see he shoots all the way about there and that's where he shoots and that's where the beat is so it's not perfectly synced but I won't bother about that too much in this video because it's just a tutorial um, but this shot and this shot are already synced so uh, let me see so the first shot and the second shot are already synced um, so with this one you can since he's not it's not an actual shot um, he's actually running towards like the next enemy you can probably set this one to 300 um, just so it gets like the clip moving faster and it'll look a lot cleaner so if you watch that through if I just pre-render it quickly see it has like a, a faster beat so it looks a lot cleaner uh, just like that then on the next beat this one will set to 200 and then 50 and 50 but this one will be a bit harder because the shot is all the way back here but we'll see what it looks like uh, just for now it's still synced but it's a little bit off um, 300 is kind of just for trick shots in my opinion and 200 I would use for feeds because it just looks a lot cleaner um, but it's really up to you so I'm going to set this one to 200 and then double click about a quarter of the way in from here to here and set that to about 50 then the same thing on the other side set it to about 50 and I'm going to do that for the rest of these markers and then I'll show you the final result. Alright, so I finished the um, velocity. This is what it should look like, how it has all the up and down movements if you've done it correctly. Uh, it should look like that. And this, I come across this little problem here. When I had set this to 200, it the shot wasn't in sync. So when I set it to 300, it made the action a lot quicker and synced it better as you'll see just now. So it synced it a lot better in my opinion so that's when really you only need to use 300 in feeds but I will pre-render this for you guys and I'll show you the final result and if you've done this correctly your edit should actually be successful Good clip also if you use this be sure to link me your um, edits or your clips that you use this tutorial in um, in the comments section I'll be sure to watch them and give my tips and opinion um, but yeah I'll show you the final result and that'll be it for me for this video but yeah this has been Chuka and I'm out see you later Oh my god!